Hey, this video is my version of absinthe tea. Now, absinthe tea, absinthe, if you've known about absinthe, it's a popular drink that people went like, uh, I believe Van Gogh cut his ear off uh, on absinthe and it was banned. So it's a banned drink. Uh, but anyway, uh, the way I'm going to make this is with tamarind. So this is absinthe tamarind tea. This is a tamarind. Now, tamarind is good for taking fluoride out of the body. If you have fluoride in your water or whatnot, there's drinks that you can make from tamarind. Actually, you can make uh, chutney from tamarind. Now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cracking this tamarind open, and I would usually do this over a garbage, but I want to just get a look at what a tamarind looks like. It's a legume. It has, uh, it's almost got a, a pruney, raisiny flavor to it, okay? And what I'm going to do is pull as much off. Sometimes they're a little dry at the bottom, so what I do is I just snap it off. And there it is. There's the tamarind, and I'm going to drop it in this pot over here. So here we are. Here's the pot. I'm dropping it in the pot. Now I'm going to take this little saucepan with me. Can you see the saucepan with the tamarinds in it? Because I already put a couple in. I'm going to follow me outside, and I'm going to make me a drink. So here we are, if you want to take a look at where we are, we're in lovely California, you can see the palm trees, and this is my little garden over here. And if you can see it, this little bush right here is Artemisia. That's Artemisia. It has a gray little color to it, and I'll probably uh, uh, rip it up and stick it in there. So let me just drop that in there for now. Now this one over here with the purple bush, this is hyssop. Now, hyssop is very medicinal. It's uh, licorice. It's good for the digestion, and it's one of the ingredients for absinthe. I'm going to take a couple of these hyssop leaves. Now, artemisia is very bitter. It's uh, wormwood, actually, and it gets rid of worms from the body and parasites. It's good for the digestion, and it could be very psychoactive. <clears throat> so now this one here, this one here, if you take a look at this, this is the stevia plant. Now this is the way I'm gonna I'm gonna sweeten this. No sugar, stevia. And you usually buy stevia in the store under Truvia or whatnot. But I'm just gonna take a, a few stevia leaves off the stevia bush out here that grow that's growing, and I'm gonna drop those in there too. And I'm, just for, for for the heck of it, I'm gonna take a little spearmint leaf. I'm gonna drop them in there too. All right. So that's gonna sweeten it. There we go. Now, put a light on here. I'm just going to tear these leaves up a little bit. Just kind of rip it up. Now, I could have dried them and dried them into tea leaves, but since this is fresh right out of the garden, this is the way I'm going to make it. So we're just tearing up the leaves and dropping them in here. Now, get them in there along with the tamarind, right? And I'm going to turn the fire on. Now, I like to get it up to a boil. We don't want to burn the camera. I like to get it up to a boil and then turn it down. So I got it up on high heat. And as soon as this thing starts boiling, what I'll do is I'll take a little spoon and I'll start moving it around. And when it gets good and hot, and starts to boil, which we probably could have dropped it all in boiling water to begin with, but this is just, I'm just making it happen. But after it comes to the boil, when it, when it starts to cool down a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to muddle my fingers around the tamarind. And what that's going to do is that's going to, that's going to take the, um, the outside of the tamarind and it's going to flavor the water along with the rest of the leaves that I put in there. Then after that, I'm going to strain it and I'm going to drink it. And if I don't hallucinate, I should be okay. So, um, I don't know if we should make a part two to the video. Okay, part two. Okay, if, if you take a look at the pot, this has been seep steeping. It's starting to cool off now. And uh, you don't want to steep absinthe too long because it's very bitter. And so, um, you, you, you want to get it out of the pot, you know, about five minutes you want to steep it. So, I basically boiled it up and winged, and winged it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to take a strainer and a bowl. But first, before I do that, see how hot this is. It's pretty hot. What I want to do, and what you should do, 
is muddle, and it's it's still hot. My hands are still hot. What you want to do is you want to muddle off the tamarind, and usually you do this with your fingers. But I'm just mashing it. Now, before I said uh, it, it was like a prune and a raisin. That's texture, but actually tamarind is kind of sweet and sour. It's got a, a strange flavor, and it's actually a good flavor. I, I really like the, the taste of it. And as it muddles, it gives it that, that brownish-orange color, and it flavors the tea. So I'm just muddling it around, and I would muddle it with my fingers, but I don't want to actually burn my fingers because actually it's hot. And so those leaves that I made are sitting in there. And now that I muddled it around, I'm going to strain it out into a bowl. Now what I can do with this is I can actually drink it cold or I can drink, I probably wind up drinking it hot or maybe somewhere in between. But anyway, that is the deal. Um, I kind of just judged it. Might add a little bit more stevia to it if I did it again. But that in essence is my absence of tea. Let's mix it around a little bit. Now I could, add, I could have added uh, tea leaf to it. As a matter of fact, just for kicks, I'm going to grab a green tea bag. It's still very hot. Maybe it'll give it a little green tea flavor. I'm going to do this drink up the right way, right? All right. Drop a tea bag in there. And let that sit there for a few minutes, and I'll take you outside and show you again what the plants look like. You get a close look at this down here. This one is the hyssop. Now, uh, this this one is uh, tastes a lot like licorice, right? And now this one here, take a back look. This one over here, this is the stevia plant. Now this is the hyssop. This is the stevia. And this one here, that's artemisia. Now I could have dried these out, but I just I just wanted to make a quick tea. And this one here, if you look at it, that's spearmint. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that right in my mouth. Too hot. Because the sweetness, it's good for the digestion. The sweetness for the, from the tea, stevia and from the hyssop is good. And sometimes I do it with the uh, spearmint too. And chew it up. But don't eat this artemisia because it's very bitter. Okay. Now this is the way I'm going to do this here. Steeped it long enough. Make a green tea out of it. Right. Drop that in the garbage. And I'm going to grab a couple of things. I'm going to grab a little bit of, no, it's not, it's not tequila. It's just lemon. But you could put some tequila in there with the lemon. A little bit of lemonade. I'm going to drop that in there. And then to cool it off because I want it cold, going to chill this down a little bit. and not too much plastic in it. It's amazing the whole things I live through. Then we're going to take a teacup. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'd add just a little bit more stevia, but I think because I have a sweet tooth, um, I can't, you just can't describe the flavor. Absinthe has a little bit of bitterness to it, but the bitterness plays with the sweetness of it, and the tamarind has a little bit of sourness, and that sweetness goes together. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy.